These two squads seem pumped and ready to go. Hey, everybody, it's James Sabalski back for EA Sports. I'm looking forward to this one. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. And there's the puck drop. Enough talk. It's time to find out what this is all about. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Boston's got the puck. Lafreniere's got it in the defensive zone. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, the refs have seen enough in this one now, and they're going to get offsetting penalties or coincidentals. Barron's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Rizzo's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Barron. What an opportunity, and it just climbed over the net there. I thought it was in. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. And now it's over to Lafreniere. And that pass goes off a stick. Slides it over to Quarles. Passes it to Colt. Dumps it in. We got a penalty coming up here. Look out, ding, ding. Well, they're gonna settle this one with their fists, James. This one's gonna be a battle. And ding, ding, it's all over. Yeah, the bell has rung and he certainly got his dung. Well, some good punches were landed there, and he looks visibly shaken up. I think he's going to need some medical attention, James. At the very least, some ice packs. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Cuts it on net. That's using the body on the block. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. All alone. Denied on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Moves it to Street. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Right in front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Price. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Shot. Oh, and that just skips over the net. What a chance there, Powder. Uh, he was in tight, but he wasn't able to convert. You could just see those hands close to his body. Montreal's man is out of the box, and we're back to even strength. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and cheat. He's got a chance. On a breakaway. Scores! What a finish. When you look up and see who's on the breakaway, James, you know that it's all but in because he is so composed with the puck. He's got silky mitts, and he just has the knack for the finish when he's one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Montreal's opportunistic game finally pays off as they have the game's first goal here in the back half of the frame. Uh, now it's about continuing to push, right? One goal simply isn't enough. You're at the back half of the first, which means there's over 40 minutes left to play in this game. They gotta continue to execute if they wanna wind up with a W at the end of this one. Scrumming Sue's along the boards. The Canadians play it along the wing. Hammers one at the net. Oh, read it perfectly. What a save. Oh, he saved it. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Driving to the net. He scores. And does he ever. You know what's amazing, James? Every time he scores, it's like the entire bench elevates. Why? Because he is a leader on this team. He shows it on the ice and, of course, by example, off of it. It's always amazing to watch the bench when the leader of the group scores, James, because there's an energy, there's a, a fun-like atmosphere that is contagious, and you can certainly feel that he brings it to this group each and every time. And that one's denied! Oh, and another save! Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. 
Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. They gotta figure out a way to stay out of the box. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Fantastic save! Reaches out and uses the stick. Stuffs them again! They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end! Oh, what a save! And the team's got it here! That's taken along the wall! Oh, it stays out! What a save on the play! From the corner now! Shot! That's blocked in front! There's a hit on the play! There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Wong's getting called for goaltender interference. A little four on four coming up here. Four on four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Penalty, look at this, two on one. Stop! Levin's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Nice job tying up his opponent. Handles the puck. Cuts into the paint. And he opts to wait for more support. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And that's intercepted by Subban. Montreal's been stifling their opponent all game long. Just they're right up in their face. They're turning over pucks. You're finding ways to interrupt the play. And wow, they're going forward quick and in a hurry. And they're just dominating the scoreboard. Oh, it stops them again. Well, the man advantage unit might welcome being back at even strength after giving up a shorthanded goal in that power play. Well, that's a tough one for the power play team. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Period number two underway here. It's been an absolute mismatch through the first 20 minutes. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this? Score! in a row. Montreal's on cruise control, or at least they should be, but they're still going full throttle, it looks like, out there. And sometimes when you get a huge lead like this, you can get a little cute with the puck and start making careless mistakes. Not happening. They've been intense, they've been crisp, and they've been executing. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Quick snap! Oh, big time save by Olmark. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. And that's knocked away. Bumped off the puck. Quick pass to Cox. Montreal's, he's got a little jump. He scores! Oh, that was gorgeous! You can just see the infectious energy that goes throughout this entire lineup when he scores. That's a true testament to his leadership and what he means to this group. Puck grab by Street. From the point, looks to make something happen. What a save by Olmark. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. The scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. The Canadians can do no wrong this evening, especially in the offensive zone here, Cheryl. Well, the score is a testament to the way they've been playing. I mean, they've been dominating in the offensive zone. They've had the puck on their stick. They're driving play, but they've been really urgent, even with the lead here. A great game for them so far. He scores! What a finish! Well, team dynamics are so interesting.
St. James, and you can see how pumped the bench is after she scores this goal. Why? Everyone gravitates towards her and her leadership. The Canadians are having one of those nights, Cheryl, that everything that can go right is. Yeah, it's all going right, James, because they're doing everything right. They've been dominating play in all three zones, and they've been rewarded for it. I'm not sure if he was ready for that hit, James, because he went down in a hurt. Breakaway! Scores! And three is the magic number. There's the hat trick. And I think there's going to have to be an extra stoppage in play here as they collect all of the hats on the ice at home. Montreal's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to show no signs of slowing down here in period number two. Yeah, they're not taking their foot off the gas pedal here, James. They've been pushing and pressing all game long. And look at the scoreboard. It's the reason why they're ahead. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Protects the puck around all sorts of danger. From the place 99 made famous. And he's got that one. Makes a move in front. And he makes that save as well. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. He grabs the puck here at the point. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Allmark's got to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save. And that's the key contributor to reset this team and get them moving forward. And a great read to turn that play aside. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Montreal's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Taken by Miller. Puck picked up by Levesque. Montreal's got the set. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Montreal's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they continue to lead here late in period number two. Big hit. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Turn that one aside. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive end, and the whole crowd is loving this. Oh, what a save! There's a collision! Oh, what a stop on the play! Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end! Moves it to the slot! Here's a shot! Denied with the save! Grabs it behind the net! The pass! Oh, and that's intercepted! Great D there! There's a hit on the play! There's a collision! And the horn sounds, and the pressure, and all that opportunity is gone with the end of period number two. Still 20 minutes to go in this one. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third. Stick around. Montreal's on total cruise control early in this third period. Curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second. He What a finish! Well, you can clearly see what he means to this group, James. He is a and he has a beauty goal, and everyone knows it. Montreal's added yet another one here to the total tonight. I mean, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Colt scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. Lafreniere is taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's get the call here. I always hated to play in these games. You just came out flat. Nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. As we're about to drop the puck, power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it. Look for different adjustments to be made. Quick feed to Glenn. Yeah, you don't hit him. This is where teams are made, James. When your star player gets hit, someone has to have his back. And drops the hammer on that one. Yeah, the clear winner as that final punch perfectly executed and a tough one on the other end.
The Canadians keeping their fan base in this game, and any time there's a fight, you can feel the energy in the building, especially when you're the home team. It's electric in here. Martinez is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Allmark's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. Score! The post it in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. Uh, not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Montreal's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. And he puts that one aside with ease. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Canadians have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. Got the puck inside the offensive zone. And he turns that one aside. Slides the puck to Wong. Moves it quickly over to Kearns. With possession along the wall. With the stop. He's the emotional leader of this team, and he typically scores in this type of situation. But the goaltender shuts the door, and that's key because he's an emotional leader. And you knew if he scored, he was going to generate a ton of energy for his team. Pushes it across to Gretzky. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. And let's see what the call is. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Lafreniere's got control of the puck in the corner. And that's blocked in traffic. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Cutting to the front of the net. Takes the feed. Boston's in transition. Throws it in. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Quick feed. Here he is on the back end. Scores! And the power play comes up big again. I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. The Canadians probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Here's a short pass to Colt. Now a quick pass to Levesque. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Takes the pass. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Scrum along the wall. Cutting to the slot. Wicked stop by the goaltender. The Canadians slide the puck near the point. Sends it down low. Moves it to Marchand. Puck scooped up by Miller. Slick feed. Montreal's defended extremely well throughout this game, whether it's the neutral zone or into their own zone as well. They pushed everything to the perimeter, a reason why the goaltender's staring down a shutout right now. Sends the pass over. Slides it to Marchand. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. Takes possession. Quick pass to Bell. Fires it. Quick stop by Olmark. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Quick feed to Colt. Oh, textbook trying to shake loose. Garrett's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is a tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. Slides it over with pace to Kearns. Handles the pass. Made the stop on the play. 
Bell's got to find a way to physically and emotionally engage without his fist, James. I mean, you know how effective and how valuable he is when he's on the ice. I mean, look at that scoring chance he just generated. Moves it quickly over to Wong. Turned aside with the glove by Omar. The Canadians are just minutes away from closing out this blowout. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and have maximized most of them. And he takes the dish. doesn't go on in your end, James. And no, no sunburn for him because he kept it out. I mean, he was a monster out there. He challenged at the top of his crease. You knew that he was playing confident the way he 